hi guys welcome to the channel on today's video i'm going to be showing you how i made these half elastic band shorts where the elastic band is only behind this shot is quite easy to make so make sure to watch this video till the end so you don't miss anything so i have my pattern paper the materials i'll be using and the fabric and I'm using one yard of fabric. So onto pattern making, the first measurement I'm putting down is the full length. And the full length I'm picking is 15 inches. So I'm just going to mark out 15 inches. And below that, I'm just going to add my 2 inches seam allowance for the bottom. This 15 inches that I marked out also includes the band. So we'll be cutting the band with the rest of the pattern. And then later, we're going to separate it. Now I'm going to go over to the top and put down my waist measurement divided by 4 plus 1 inch for seam allowance. For crouch depth, I'm taking 10 inches and this varies depending on the client. But for this, I'll be taking 10 inches and this includes the band also. I told you the band is included in this pattern. I'm going to cut it out later and you're going to see just how I'm going to cut it out. But before that, I'm going to go ahead to take my lap circumference measurement and divide it by 2, whatever I get, I'm going to add 1 inch seam allowance to it and just put that down. Now I'm just going to go ahead to connect the lap measurement to the waist measurement in a curved manner like so. Instead of going straight down from the lap, I'm just going to go in at the end of the full length there by one inch just to give it some shape so this is the point that i go ahead to mark out the band and i'm going with 1.5 inches for the band Now that I have separated the band from the rest of the front piece, I'm just going to go ahead to cut out the back piece. And then later on, I'm going to cut the band of the back piece. I'm going to use the front piece to cut out the back piece and I've placed the front piece on a new pattern paper. And first thing I'm going to do is extend the waist by 3.5 inches from where the front piece stopped at. Instead of making the top of the back piece flat so accommodate for the client's bum, we are going to extend it up by 1 inch at the center back. So at the lap and down the full length, I'm going to extend it by 2.5 inches. So just a quick rundown of all the extensions I made on the back piece. At the lap there, I extended it by 2.5 inches, at the waist by 3.5 inches, and up there by 1 inch. So now that I'm done with the back piece, I'm going to go back to the front piece before we're totally done with pattern making. And I'm going to go down by half an inch at the center front. So now I'm just going to go ahead to cut the band of the back piece. It will be the same width as the front piece but its length will be the normal length for the back piece. So these are the pattern pieces we're going to be using. I'm just going to go ahead to cut it on fabric. So I cut out the exact pattern on fabric apart from the band. I went ahead to cut the width of the band to be 4 inches instead of the normal 1.5 inches because I'm going to be folding in the fabric for the band. So I just created more space to accommodate for that. The band behind, we're going to be adding elastic to it and the one in front, we're going to be adding gum stay to it to make it thicker. That's fabric wording. I'm just going to go ahead to cut the gum stay to be the exact width as the pattern paper which is 1.5 inches. So by the time that we fold the fabric on the gum stay, it's going to become the normal 1.5 inches. So 
So I'm going to join the left and right sides of the front and back pieces together by sewing halfway through the crouch so that we can go on to attach the band. So after going ahead to attach the front and back pieces separately by the crouch, I'm just going to go ahead to make the back band now. So I'm going to take the band and I'm going to sew it towards the front of the of the shorts and that means that by the time you're done sewing the seam line or the seam should be showing in front. So you're going to go ahead to then fold the band to cover up that seam and sew on it and this is what we have now we just go ahead to iron it so it can be nice and flat and then this is the channel i'm going to pass the elastic through so i'm using a one inch elastic band that is about one inch longer than half of the back piece and then i'm just going to use a safety pin to pass it through the channel and by the time i've gotten to the end of the elastic i'm just going to secure with a pin so the elastic doesn't end up getting lost in the channel and then i'm just going to pass it through till the end before going to my sewing machine to secure it Now we can go ahead to attach the band to the front piece. I went ahead to iron the gum stitch to the band and this is what we have now. I have about 0.5 inches at the side, at the bottom there and the rest of the fabric is at the top and I folded the edge there. So I'm going to go ahead to use the 0.5 at the edge to attach to the rest of the front piece and I'm going to sew towards the front just like we did for the back piece. So this is what I have after attaching the band to the rest of the fabric. So I'm just going to fold the top in and use it to cover the seam and then sew on top of the band. Next I'm going to go ahead to join the front and the back pieces together, front side facing each other by the sides. So I'm just going to sew down at the two sides. So after joining the outer sides together, I'm going to go ahead to join the inner sides together before going ahead to join the two legs together by the crouch. So the final step now would be folding the bottom seam which we took 2 inches for so I'll be folding the bottom seam by 2 inches. Alright guys we've come to the end of this tutorial this is the final look I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful if it was please don't forget to hit the subscribe button like this video so it can get recommended to others leave a comment down below share this video to your friends people that it might be helpful to thank you and i'll see you in my next video